a prequel to a prequel of a horror movie. Yeah, for me, this one might be an uphill battle. I didn't fall down those stairs. Something threw me. What do you mean? You always say that even though we can't see God, we can, we can feel his presence. Well, in this house, I feel a different kind of presence. What kind? An evil one. Annabelle Creation is the fourth movie in the Conjuring movie franchise. In the second Annabelle movie, this one about how the doll was made and came into existence. Is there still room for scares with this creepy, creepy doll? Well, here's five things you might want to know about Annabelle Creation. What a surprisingly good film. Now, we'll get into the specifics of how my dislike of horror movies in general impacted my experience with this, but let's talk about the movie in general and start here. It's set up really well, and that's so important for a movie that's telling the beginning of something, that the beginning of the movie put us in the right place. The way it sets up these characters, the way it sets up the overall story, the way it sets up the atmosphere, and the way it sets up the environment, all of that works together to immediately put you into this world in a way that I think envelops you. It's a way that says, welcome, you're in a movie, you're in good hands, now enjoy. Speaking of being in good hands, man, is this movie made well. It's crafted really well. I'd like to bring special attention to how the camera work adds to the atmosphere of this movie. The design's great. All that stuff is great. But the camera work really struck me because it's very intentionally smooth and slow. The camera always seems to be in motion, but never quick motion. I think shaky cam is the enemy of almost everything, and that includes horror movies. Uh, there's something really tense and beautiful about a camera that knows how to observe the environment, the characters, and do it in a way that almost feels like you're stalking them, coming around corners, moving from high angles to low angles, but doing it in a steady and smooth way. It's hard to overstate how much that builds the psychological impact of the tension of a movie like this. Also, can I give another shout out to how beautiful it is just to see a straight story, even in a horror movie, one that doesn't feel like it has to be laden down with twists and turns and reveals. Now, you're still curious about who's behind this and how it's working and if somebody's doing something, but what's clever about a movie like this is it allows you to live in that curious space without making you feel like you need some sort of twist to make it good. It's telling you a straight story. Now, where that story goes, I'm not going to give away, but just to say it takes you along a path that you feel comfortable in and also uncomfortable in because you kind of want to know a little more about a twist or a turn, but it almost gives you this... Un it's a really clever thing, actually. The audience has come to expect twists in a way that movies that don't deliver them every few, you know, every so often actually kind of have a leg up. It's almost a clever way to subvert our expectations for a modern horror film. So yes, I'm praising a horror movie. Imagine that. Uh, let me talk about the stuff I didn't like. A lot of this is personal. This will just be a yellow because it's very personal for me. I just don't like horror movies. And as well as this movie is produced, I'm not one who gets the idea of sitting in a chair to be scared. I want to be told a good story. And there's elements of that here, but it's mostly about the scares. And those just don't impress me. I've seen them all before. And there's nothing especially new or clever about how this movie is trying to scare you. It's proficient at it. It's very good at it. But it just doesn't do anything clever or new with it. And because of that, it didn't really scare me because I've seen it all before. <laughs> Which brings me to what I think is the one true negative, and I think it's a big one for this film, and honestly this franchise, it's the doll. I don't, I, I really feel like the doll at this point, Annabelle, is squeezed in to these stories. She doesn't really have a lot to do with what's going on here. It's interesting to me because the doll becomes a prop that I think is supposed to be scary, but it's not really where the fear is coming from. And so it's almost weighing down these movies, trying to fit this doll into what's going on. At least that's how I felt. And because of that, it feels like the movie is trying 
too hard quite a bit, and I find that distracting. Overall, I feel like Annabelle Creation is a surprisingly good horror film from somebody who doesn't really enjoy them. It was made very well, crafted well enough, but still with some negatives, and of course my own personal biases to bring it down to a B minus. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. We'll be to the best ever challenge here in a bit. Before we get there though, let's connect further. Hit me up on Twitter, Aaron Dicer, A-A-R-O-N-D-I-C-E-R. -E uh, love conversing there. I love the podcast. If you do the podcast thing, Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P -P is our weekly podcast. Have a lot, uh, a, lot of, a lot of fun talking about whatever the big movie is out that weekend, all sorts of pop culture stuff. In fact, our last episode was just all Game of Thrones. We just caught up on Game of Thrones, had a good time doing it. So you can check that out at Sift Pop, S-I-F-T-P-O-P. Uh, also, YouTube, subscribe, comment, have a blast here. Uh, love having the videos up here and developing this community as well. And thank you so much for those who support this YouTube channel. It is fan-funded. Uh, $3 a month is where it starts, and you go to patreon.com, your movie friends. Some pretty fun perks there you might want to check out for people who do decide to give to support this. And thank you for doing that. It means the world to me. All right, on to the best ever challenge, where you name the best movie ever in a particular category. Also, try to identify my choice. What is the best movie ever featuring a doll? There's more of these than you might think. Mine's a pretty obvious one. I've got to go to the one where I'm probably going to face the fire on this choice because the, the main villain is barely a doll. Take a guess at mine in the comments. First person to get it right does get a point. I'd love to see your choice there as well. As always, I'm going to give you a few extra seconds here at the end to hit subscribe. Just click my face.